Why does the Instagram algorithm hate you? And I'm also gonna explain why you shouldn't care at all if the algorithm hates you or likes you. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly why the Instagram algorithm might actually not like you very much and maybe what you're doing to cause this. So make it clear to you guys what has happened. This is based on personal experience from my account. I've tried and tested many, many things when it comes to Instagram especially. And I found that a lot of things actually do affect the way that the algorithm reacts to your content, whether it's positive or negative, which can reduce the amount of exposure you get when it comes to your reels, which overall reduces the amount of exposure your account gets and the amount of followers you're able to attain. So I'll be walking you through three of the main things that I've applied to my account that have basically made the algorithm kind of like me more, but in the end, it really doesn't matter when it comes to the algorithm. You should really be focusing on your account and how you appeal to your audience and your followers. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer. I'm going over exactly why the algorithm might hate you and basically why you shouldn't care and what you should be doing in order to grow your social media. So like I said before, why the algorithm hates you and why you shouldn't care. And this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a bit now, because everyone seems to be very, very uptight and stressed about the algorithm. And I wanna make it clear that the algorithm only comes into play if you do the right things beforehand. The algorithm's not just gonna take your account and blow it up, right? It's not gonna make you tons and tons of followers and get you all the followers and everything you ever wanted. The algorithm is just there to assist you in getting more reach, okay? So let's talk about why the algorithm might not like you and how you can get on the good side, but why it really doesn't matter and why you should just be focusing on your account. Before I do that though, I wanna mention that I do have a 100% free Discord for you guys to join. So if you're someone who's looking to get a part of a community that's all with creators, people who are monetizing their Instagram, tips and tricks on how to grow your Instagram, the first link in the description down below will take you to my free Discord channel, which is based on server, I should say, where it basically has all the different channels in it. You can send in your edits for feedback. I'm in there answering questions, There's other people in there answering questions. It's a great community with almost 4,000 people in it now. So I'll see you in the Discord if that's you. So let's jump into this video. First things first, understanding that quality over quantity is number one when it comes to pleasing the algorithm, okay? If you wanna please the algorithm and make it actually like you and find out why it actually hates you, it's probably because you're posting way too much and the quality of your videos is way too low for Instagram and just anyone in general, like your the audiences on Instagram, people who are watching videos to even interact with it, which in the end, the main thing that's gonna get the algorithm to like you, quote unquote, is getting uh, people to interact with your video. If the algorithm sees that people are interacting with your video, then it might promote it. But if your video in the first place is too low quality for people to inter even interact with it, then that's your problem right there to start with. So let's go over a few points here. People only care about content if it is interesting to them as they're scrolling through their Instagram feed. Okay, if it's not interesting to them, they're just gonna scroll right past it. This is why a niche is so important to find and stick to. Okay, and I've mentioned this in other videos as well. If you don't have a niche associated with your Instagram account, for me, it'd be like fitness, lifestyle, motivation, stuff like that. If you don't have something that people can relate to that they wanna watch more videos about, if you have your niches all over the place, you're posting videos about dog, then dogs, and you're posting videos about baking, and then you're posting videos about cooking, it's just all over the place. You're not really give people a reason to follow you in the first place, and that's gonna affect your account in a way that the algorithm is gonna see this account has no real direction, they have no real audience, they have no real niche, why would the algorithm promote you, right? So you wanna make sure you have a niche and, you're, and you're, you're posting high quality videos surrounding that niche. It's better to have 10 quality videos with around 100K views than 1,000 videos with 1K views, okay? Even though that's the same amount of views, if I'm doing my math right, the effect this kind of thing has on your account as a whole is just not the same, okay? 10 quality videos are going to have a way better reaction from people who are scrolling through Instagram compared to a thousand very, very low quality videos. Even though you're getting the same amount of views, the 10 videos that are high quality are gonna resonate more with the people who are watching your videos, which is gonna make them interact with the video more, which is gonna get the algorithm to pick up on that and then promote it to more people. Okay, so there's this misconception where people think, the more I post, the more chance I have to, to, to hit the explore page and get more people seeing my videos. And while there is a certain line where that is true, if you take it too far and you just post tons and tons of videos that are low quality, it's never gonna work for you. Like I said, the reach is similar, but the stick factor is not. Okay, what I mean by the stick factor is the video is not sticking on the algorithm to show more people that your account is worthy of being followed. Okay, so if your video isn't sticking, that means that it's probably low quality and the algorithm just doesn't care about it and it's not gonna promote it for you. Quality is hard to find now because everyone has the ability to create content. 
when it comes to like I don't even have the idea when it comes to smartphone cameras and just having the ability to create any kind of content you want and post it wherever you want it's way too easy now so it's very hard for con for quality to come around which is also a very good thing because there's tons and tons of low quality if you have something that you want to make and you make it just that much better make it higher quality it's going to be way easier to stick around and get noticed by people who want to follow your account number two here is viewer retention is way more important than posting tricks okay and when i say posting tricks i'll show you what i mean in just a second but viewer retention is always number one if people aren't sticking around to watch your video then there's no way the algorithm's gonna like it and promote it to other people to follow you. So you're not gonna get famous from things like hashtags, which is something I would call like a posting trick, okay? If you're gonna be using these kinds of tricks, these kind of like Instagram growth hacks all the time, they're just not gonna do the trick for you, okay? So if you think that an Instagram hashtag is going to supplement your low quality video and make the algorithm react to it really well, promote it to a bunch of people, it's not. The, the hashtag is just kind of something that might up that chance by maybe one, two percent. Not even enough to make it worth your time to worry about it too much. So like I said, they can help, but they are not gonna be your savior. Another thing is like when people worry about what time of day they're posting at, if you're posting at 6.04 p.m. or you're posting at 3.02 p.m., it might help to post a little bit later in the day. Well, I'm not posting this. My followers are most active at this time of day. Really, you're worrying about the wrong thing. You're spending all your time on these kinds of little things that might help you with your account, hashtags, time of day that I post, how much I react to my comments, if I reply to my comments, if I'm posting on my story every single day. Those things help and they might help you a little bit, but in my opinion, you need to look more bigger picture and focus on the quality videos that are gonna get high viewer attention, which are gonna last longer, which are gonna make the algorithm like your video more and it's gonna make the algorithm promote it to more people. If you're noticing a theme here, it's posting high quality content that has high viewer retention, so the algorithm likes it, promotes it to other people, okay? It's not all these little things like hashtags and, oh, my, my video is not uploading in the highest quality. Those things help, but at the end of the day, you gotta think big picture with this. One way to do this is create a story with your posts. Don't just post to post, like I said earlier. And this kind of goes hand in hand with number one, posting low quality content, tons and tons, versus posting high quality content, not as often, okay? Posting high quality content that has a story to it, has a meaning to it, is related to a niche that you're in, is always gonna win over posting low quality content every single time, okay? Even though you're doing more work, posting all these different videos, it might feel like you're being more productive. It might feel like you're doing more for the algorithm. But at the end of the day, high quality content posted not every single day is, in my opinion, what's gonna work best. People simply just want a reason to like you, okay? And in order for them to like you and relate to you, they have to be seeing high quality videos that relate to a niche that they like to follow. Captivate your audience by having them curious and wanting more from your channel, your videos, your Instagram page, your TikTok page, whatever it may be captivate that audience and give them a reason to follow you. When they click on that video from the Explore page, they wanna land on your account and see more of that kind of video that you posted. Finally, number three here is a loyal audience always, always wins, okay? And there's ways to create a loyal audience and having a loyal audience is just number one, okay? Because if you don't have a good rep with the algorithm, I guess you could call it, a loyal audience will step in and fill that gap for you. So YouTube is a good example for this because it is something that has, where the algorithm is very, very effective, I wanna say. But at the same time, if you have a strong audience behind your YouTube channel, and since YouTube channels are longer form videos, it usually gives the audience more of a chance to connect to the creator itself. So when it comes to YouTube, it's a good example because even if the algorithm doesn't pick up on a video, your audience can get behind a video, like, comment, share, all that kind of stuff, and the algorithm will eventually pick up on it because your audience is so loyal. Another thing is that Instagram might not be pushing your videos with the algorithm, but if you implement quality, consistency, and a story, it honestly won't matter because in the end, your audience is gonna react to it, they're gonna repost it, and that kind of thing is gonna create that um, engagement for the post the algorithm wants to see in the long run, and eventually that video is going to do well. If it doesn't do well in the first 20 minutes, it's not the end of the world. If you have a loyal audience, your loyal audience will follow through, pick up on that, and then the algorithm will pick up on that, and it'll start promoting your videos. Word of mouth and audience will keep you in the algorithm. Very, very important to note, to, to realize. The way that I've seen it, the process goes audience and then algorithm, okay? It doesn't usually go algorithm and then audience. Sometimes it'll go algorithm, just totally pump your video, but that's very, very rare. Consistently speaking, it'll go audience and then algorithm. Your audience reacts to your video, shows engagement on it, they like your video, the algorithm picks up on that, and then the algorithm promotes it to the masses. Like I said earlier, give people a reason to follow you, and people are following you for a reason if they are following you, okay? If they click that follow button, there's a reason they did that and the algorithm knows this. So those people who are following you, if they show interest in your videos, it shows to the algorithm that there is a direct interest in your video. It's one of the better videos. It's gonna promote it to the masses, like I said. So that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to talk about why the algorithm might be hating you right now, basically how to fix that, 
and why it really doesn't matter if the algorithm hates you in the end because it all comes down to building a solid audience that likes the quality posts that you make and maintaining viewer retention, okay? Those three things, quality, viewer retention, and having a loyal audience are the main things that matter when it comes to growing your social media accounts. And those are the things that are gonna grow your account over time and show the algorithm that you're worthy of promoting your videos to the rest of the people on Instagram, okay? So don't worry about the algorithm hating you right now. It's not a big deal. If you apply these three things I talked about, quality, viewer retention, and uh, creating a loyal audience, those are the main things that matter on social media. If you can do that, you'll power through and the algorithm will eventually start to like you. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, again, make sure you drop a like on the video. Hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos every other week or so about social media, editing, lifestyle, vlogging, whatever it may be. So if that kind of thing interests you, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.